Welcome to Infigyan friends. Today in this video we are going to take up one challenging question from Diophantine equations for integer solutions. The given equation is x square plus y square is equal to xy minus 3 whole square. So we can write a minus b whole square formula x square y square minus 6xy plus 9. Now let's split minus 6xy as minus 4xy minus 2xy plus 9 as it is. Now we will take this minus 2xy to the LHS. It will frame left hand side as x plus y whole square identity and if you will split this 9 as 4 plus 5 then first three term will give us xy minus 2 whole square formula or identity. So we can write this equation as x plus y whole square is equal to xy minus 2 whole square plus 5. So let's switch all the variables to one side constant to other side. We will get one difference of two squares identity. It is like this. Now we will consider our substitution xy is equal to a x plus y is equal to b. So equation will transform into a and b. We can write a minus 2 whole square minus b square is equal to negative 5. Now we will apply p square minus q square formula. It is p plus q times p minus q. Let's apply. So a plus b minus 2 times a minus b minus 2 equal to negative 5. Now I will write the prime factors of negative 5. So if we'll have first column as minus 1, second bracket as 5, then we will get product minus 5. If we are having 1 times minus 5, then we will get product negative 5. 5 times minus 1, minus 5, minus 5 times 1, minus 5. So here we are having column a plus b minus 2. Let's find out a plus b only. So to find out a plus b, I will add 2 to this column. So we can write 2 minus 1 is 1. 2 plus 1 is 3, 2 plus 5 is 7, 2 minus 5 is minus 3. Similarly, here I will add 2. I will get 2 plus 5, 7, 2 minus 5, minus 3, 2 minus 1, 1, 2 plus 1, 3. So we are having now a plus b and a minus b is straight away values. Now I will frame fourth system where a plus b and a minus b equations are known. So let us begin with the very first a plus b equal to 1, a minus b equal to 7. Now if I will add both the equations, then I will have 2a is equal to 8, a is equal to 4. Once a is equal to 4, I will write b is equal to minus 3. What was a and b? It was our substitution. a was xy, b was x plus y. So xy 4, x plus y minus 3. Sum of roots, product of roots given. I can frame one quadratic equation in variable x. It would be x square minus sum of roots times x plus product of roots equal to 0. So sum of roots minus 3. Equation is this. I will only find out discriminant. So because discriminant is coming out negative, complex solution will be generated from this system. So this system will be rejected. Let's consider the second one where a plus b is 7. And a minus b is 1. I am taking third test vector. So I can add both the equations to get the value of a. It would be 2a is equal to 8. a is equal to 4. a equal to 4 then b will be equal to 3. x y 4 x plus y 3. I will frame one quadratic equation. x square minus 3x plus 4 equal to 0. Again I will check discriminant. It is coming out negative. Complex solutions will generate rejected system. I will consider third system of equation as per our order it is second a plus b is 3 a minus b is minus 3. Add both the equations we will have 2a is equal to 0 a equal to 0. Once a is 0 b will be 3. x y 0 x plus y 3. So I can frame one quadratic equation sum of roots 3 product of roots 0 x square minus sum of roots times x plus product of roots so i can frame x square minus 3x is equal to 0 or x times x minus 3 equal to 0 
Similarly, our fourth system will be a plus b minus 3, a minus b is 3. Add both the equations, 2a will be 0, a will be 0. Once a is 0, b is negative 3. xy is 0, which was a. x plus y was b, it is minus 3. Sum of roots, product of roots. x is square minus sum of roots times x plus product of roots. So I will get this equation, x square plus 3x equal to 0 or x times x plus 3 equal to 0. Now first two system I will reject due to complex solution. Only the bottom two will be accepted too. So let us write both the system and the last equation we will consider from both the systems. So from first equation either x will be 0 or x will be 3. Now see this x plus y equal to 3. I will put x0, I will get y3. If I will put x3, I will get y0. So I can write immediately y value also. So y will be 3 once x is 0 and y will be 0 once x is 3. So we can write our ordered pair like this x comma y 0 3 and 3 comma 0. Now let's consider the second equation from here I will write either x is equal to 0 or x plus 3 equal to 0. So x is equal to 0 and negative 3. Now from this equation x plus y is equal to minus 3. I will put x 0 I will get y minus 3 and once I will put x minus 3 I will get y 0. So our ordered pair will be 0 minus 3 and minus 3 0 from this system. So our overall solution for Diophantine equation, we can write 0 minus 3 and 3 comma 0 and 0 comma minus 3 and minus 3 comma 0. I hope friends this video will be meaningful to you. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck and take care of yourself. Bye bye.